The Detroit Lions released some important updates this Thursday. Some worrying news, but others made fans happy. Stay until the end of this video because I'm going to tell you everything. But first, make sure you have already pressed the like button if you are a true Lions fan. Let's go. The Detroit Lions, currently boasting an impressive five. One record returned to action on the practice field after just one day of orientation. Now, I know many of you are eager to see how our team is preparing for our upcoming Week 7 matchup with the Baltimore Ravens, who are four, two, so let's go. First, the big question mark. David Montgomery, who has been making headlines lately, was expected to miss training this week, and there is a possibility he could spend some more time on the sidelines. The real question here is whether he will end up on the injured reserve list by the end of the week. This is a decision we will have to keep an eye on and could have some significant implications for our running game. And so we have some worrying news. Jonah Jackson, once again, was absent from training. That could mean the Lions turn to Coyote Awosika for another start at left guard. Awosika did a decent job last week, but allowed four pressures, including one of two sacks against the Bucks. It is a situation to monitor closely. Now, let's talk about Teddy Bridgewater. He is the latest addition to our injury report. We don't yet have all the details on the severity of his injury, but there is some hope as he was seen entering the locker room without any obvious problems. Fingers crossed, right? On a more positive note, we have some good news on the defensive front. Jamir Gibbs is officially back on the field and appears to be on track to be a starter this weekend. This is a boost we desperately need. The running room is also showing some resilience. Craig Reynolds was back on the field, indicating that our running back situation may be in better shape than initially reported. We also have Sam Laporta, who dealt with a calf injury last week, and it looks like the Lions will take it easy on him this week. It should also be available on Sunday. Oh, and did I mention Mitchell's return? He is back in training, and if he can recover this week, he will take over the TE3 duties. This is fantastic news for our offense. And finally, some more good news. Josh Paschal is still on injured reserve, but has completed three worthy workouts. There's a chance he could be activated from the 53-man roster, so keep an eye out for that move, possibly on Saturday. And last but not least, we have an exciting comeback in the works. Brian Branch, who missed the last two games, returned to the field. He expressed his intention to return this week and could be a game-changer against the Ravens' offense. So that wraps up today's Detroit Lions news. What do you think of these updates? Do you have any thoughts or predictions for our next game against the Baltimore Ravens? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more exclusive Lions coverage. Thanks for watching, and let's go Lions!